We are here, we're native, we're queer, we're in drag. Today is the first ever drag show on Winnebago tribal land. We had a law that was passed that affects the lives of our transgender individuals in Nebraska. Happy Pride, y'all. And here we have this celebration where we want to say you can be who you are, we'll support you no matter what. We are providing this space for people who might otherwise self-harm or commit suicide, especially in our native country. We want you here, we want you to be a part of us. We'll make this place safe for you. We have like a couple. Do you want the flag? We are <laughs> waiting to start the second annual Sioux City Pride Parade. And our flow is gonna represent the Winnebago Two Spirit. Look, it's your mom! <laughs> Not yet. All right, well then let's start decorating. The Winnebago Two Spirit is an organization in Winnebago, Nebraska that educates do we want it higher or do we want it I think it, it should lower? be staggered around like how butterflies are. Yeah, I agree. Reacclimates, gives visibility, and welcomes anybody to be a part of a two-spirit community. It's important for us to be out here because there's not a lot of native visibility when it comes to the two-spirit. Like if you look around, there's a, not a lot of diversity here. I was like, where are they here? Look, they're on a big teepee moving. I was like, follow the teepee. <laughs> It's a walk, not a run. Take your time. Make him watch, please. <laughs> you know what I mean. Make him watch, baby. Happy Pride. So if you are native and you belong to the LGBTQ, you can call yourself Two-Spirit. You don't have to be just one of the letters. You could be all of the letters. You could be none of the letters. A snack while you're standing there, right? It's however you want to define yourself. This is my grandmother, and this is her older brother, Wayne Tyndall. Wayne was a gay man, and he ran for council and became the chief of the Omaha tribe. That had a huge impact on my life, my family's life. That is a couple of the cast and myself, and I think all of these drag queens are going to be there at the... Um, Red and Wild show. So Friday we have our annual Pride event. In the evening time we have our Red and Wild drag show. It is the first drag show on Winnebago land. And it's important that we do it now because of the legislature in Nebraska and across the country. The Nebraska legislature is banning gender affirming care for those ages 18 and younger. Trans kids who experience anxiety, it's not because of who they are, it's because of bullies like Senator Kathleen Kalf and the rest of you who are going along with her. Tennessee Governor Bill Lee has just signed a bill that would restrict drag performances. It's already a record year for states aiming to restrict transgender rights. That is trying to demonize or vilify or criminalize people who are trans drag entertainers. Oh, this one's a really good one. My name is Citrus. I would travel far away, hours away, and perform in, you know, big cities. And then I decided, hey, I need to start performing here. I want people to know that I'm here. I went over this with even more tape and we taped it up even better. And the only way they could like try and destroy it is to cut it. Because of all the different religions here, people still have that like mindset like, oh my God, gay is wrong. Oh my God, you have to be straight. Straight is right. <laughs> they think it's um, not right or gross or something because you know of the um, colonial mindset. How is this flyer such an offense that you have to like physically like really try to rip these down like oh, that's that probably took really a good five it. minutes out of your day <laughs> uh, 
a lot of people who are drag queens are not native and that visibility i wanted to give to everybody we are providing this space for people who might otherwise self-harm or commit suicide especially in our native country and to have that opportunity to say hey no don't do that that we want you here we want you to be a part of us because and and we'll make this place safe for you that is my biggest goal i know uh, a lot of people who committed suicide um, I have siblings who committed suicide because of their orientation, because of their gender, and that is the biggest thing, really. In the Ho-Chunk culture, we did have a traditional third gender called Teja Chowinga, which means Blue Ocean Woman. The moon in the Ho-Chunk culture is feminine, and the sun is viewed as like a, a man. And if the Muno came to them and um, blessed them, they would take on the role of a woman. They were honored and respected traditionally. Christianity impacted our people from the beginning, from first contact, when there was that exploring in America. As Europeans came more and more, we get into our different eras. And one of the big ones, especially for two-spirit people would be the boarding school era where they removed children and they took them and abused them and they shamed them about every single aspect of their being. Sexuality and orientation were amongst the biggest because Christianity uses those as tools to beat you down and then make you comply. Then when we came back and had to relearn our traditional ways, they still carried with them that huge amount of shame. But prior to that, I know my people were not ashamed whatsoever of anybody who was two-spirit. That's why I am trying to shake that shame. So he has two progress pride flags, the two-spirit pride flag. I think he has the United States flag with the rainbow. A couple nights ago, some teenagers egged his house because of, we're assuming because of those flags and because of our flyers. And so there's just a lot of microaggression going around. When people ask me, well, what's Two-Spirit? That's not a simple answer. It's so much more than what you realize because we don't have that European mindset People, other people view it, they view it from, yeah, the colonial perspective and they try to put these labels on it and they'll say, oh, so two spirits trans or two spirits lesbian or two spirits this. And, and you're like, no, it could be all of those things or none of those things because it's an individual that um, would identify, or they're, they're the ones that define it through themselves. So every two spirit their person is different. I hope that we can help our younger generation to realize that there is a space for them, that they are loved, and they're able to be nurtured and developed into better people. It feels nice knowing that like we can express who we are. And I always say we because there's a bunch of people that I know um, who are two-spirit and who fear that they won't be accepted by their family. So they come here to be accepted by other people so that they can say that, oh, this is my family now. <laughs> We're all really good friends, so we just want to have that energy and give that out to everybody, that love that we have in the drag community. Sometimes they're shady, but most of the time it comes with love. Number three, Isabella. Number four, I'm number five. Let's give it up for Vanessa Divine. are here, we're native, we're queer, we're in drag, we're gonna have fun and enjoy our being, our life. I hope that they see this as their 
you know, beacon. I hope that they learn that there is a community here for them to love who they are. So I guess we're doing it next year. <laughs>